call Jonathan Young. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy to s s make a few points here on the second reading of this bill. Uh, sir, when I uh, saw the red peak flag, initially it had no appeal. It probably still doesn't. It's probably not going to be my choice if it ends up being on the referendum. But I did see an artist's rendition of it that showed a meeting house in front of a mountain. And the mountain looked like Mount Taranaki, and the meeting house looked like uh, Te Ikaro Amaui on Manukarihi Pa in Waichara. And so, sir, I thought, I thought that was quite a stunning depiction of that flag. Far, far better than what New Zealand first see in that flag. Sir, it talks about part of our heritage that isn't reflected in the current flag. And, sir, when this whole debate started, this conversation, and prior prime ministers talked about a flag, a different flag for New Zealand, this is not something new, and, sir, I would never say that of Norman Kirk it was a vanity project. I think, sir, that people see a new flag as something which can bring the people of New Zealand together in a new way. I can't say that I'm dissatisfied with our present flag, but, sir, what this referendum does for me, it offers an aspirational opportunity for our future together as the people of Aotearoa New Zealand. And I think that this process of bringing amendment to this bill is responding to a large number of, it sounds primarily of younger people, of younger people who are responding and engaging in a process. Sir, I think, I think, sir, that uh, this process of a referendum is full of promise full of aspiration and full of opportunity for us, sir, to have an emblem and an icon which we can all appreciate and time to come celebrate under. And so I'm very happy to support this amendment bill and I look forward to the progress of the referendum uh, in the future and I do trust that we will come to a great result for this nation. Thank you.